depending on the day, lots of you like to call me either a Tesla hater or a Tesla sheep. So I'm trying my best to tick off both parties because I don't believe that any company is purely always in the right or always in the wrong. And likewise, there has been some negative Cybertruck coverage, people having issues with the steer-by-wire system, which is definitely scary, build quality issues that some people have reported as well. But I think all vehicles that are in their early production ramp go through a lot of these growing pains when the assembly line is basically constantly trying to accelerate. That's when a lot of mistakes are made. And then as they're reported, as Tesla hears all of these issues, they're able to hopefully improve on the product and make it better. But repairability was a huge point of concern for the Cybertruck because it was so radically different. One of Tesla's most ambitious products yet. And despite all of the criticism around it, I'm still in love with it. No, it's not a product that necessarily fits into my lifestyle, but I'm addicted to watching Cybertruck videos. So many great channels have now taken delivery of their Cybertrucks, and I love watching all of them, even though I know everything they're gonna say, and they're not discovering anything that I didn't already know. It's just fun to watch people and kind of live vicariously through them taking delivery of their Cybertrucks. And this point about repairability, I think, was getting vastly overshadowed over on Twitter, so I wanted to highlight what a couple of different repair accounts were focusing on in regards to the Cybertruck design that is somewhat positive. First of all, another great YouTuber that I'm a huge fan of, Tesla Winston, was bringing attention to this design as well as Ogre Codes, talking about the rear quarter panel, which if you remember all of those scary Rivian stories about a Rivian getting in a minor fender bender and it being a 40 plus thousand dollars worth of repairs, that was kind of all about the rear quarter panel because Rivian, as amazing as they are and as futuristic as they are, and as much as I love their product, they did kind of have this cool streamlined design that had one body panel basically all the way to the bumper and then on top of the entire cabin and having to replace all of that and redo the wiring and redoing all the paint and all that ended up being, of course, a fairly complicated and expensive procedure. And Ogre Codes was bringing up how he has lots of buddies that do some off-roading and one of them has a Land Cruiser and their rear quarter panel had completely rusted out to the point that it was basically beyond repair because these rear quarter panels can sometimes be very hard to remove and to replace and usually has to involve some kind of removal of the bed, which Tesla Winston was getting at as well. And because they're so complicated, a lot of their friends were basically just going with, you know what, this is gonna be such a complex project, such an intricate repair, I might be better off just like scrapping the whole vehicle and starting from fresh. And yet the Cybertruck, because of its sharp angular design and because Tesla just put a couple of bolts for this rear quarter panel to mount onto the Cybertruck side, that means that this whole panel, assuming something goes wrong with it, if it gets damaged or rusts out somehow, it shouldn't be too complicated or too time consuming to replace the entire thing. Now, I'm sure because the Cybertruck is so new, there's probably not a lot of parts available yet, service centers and stuff waiting on parts to repair, but from the ground up though, you can just kind of tell that this part is going to be a lot more serviceable than a lot of other vehicles on the road because it's bolted in a way that it doesn't have to infringe on all of the bed space, you don't have to take the entire bed apart, and of course the Cybertruck exterior is pretty much void of all paint, so there's a lot less paint matching to go on, they didn't route too many wires behind this panel, and because of its extra pointy sharp design, the tailgate takes up a lot more of the back end of the Cybertruck than it might on other vehicles that continue to show their tail lights on the back when the tailgate's open and that kind of thing. And while some people have highlighted that the Cybertruck doesn't quite have that 3 millimeter thick exoskeleton structure that was initially promised way back in 2019, I think in a lot of ways there's advantages to that. The fact that the main structure of this vehicle is not necessarily being held by the exterior and instead we just have a really tough, really durable exterior and botched armored glass demos aside, a lot of people who have taken delivery of Cybertrucks are now proving that. I watched tech racks, you know, throw a metal ball into the glass window and it did not shatter and I'm watching people swing metal bats into the side of the Cybertruck as hard as they possibly can and pretty much all the damage is being done to the bat. The bat is bent, paint from the bat is rubbing off onto the truck and all that to say that even though it's not necessarily an exoskeleton, the exterior of the Cybertruck is so durable that the type of collisions that it gets into that might cause a little bit of a dent or a little bit of a scratch would have done far more damage on any other truck that doesn't have that rigid exterior and you have to worry a lot more about paint matching and getting all of the colors oh so perfect and the truth is there are Cybertrucks at the factory that kind of have mismatched steel finishes 
glitches that people can see, and I noticed the fingerprints building up on the side of the doors, but besides all that, it's such an apocalyptic looking vehicle that it kind of embraces it. Like, if I got dents and scratches in my Cybertruck, I don't know if it would really bother me all that much because it just looks like such a tank. You kind of want a tank to look like it's seen battle, it's kind of gone through war. The war of the grocery store parking lot, of course, but I don't look at it as kind of a show pony, even though so many celebrities have taken it upon themselves to get their own Cybertrucks. I'm sure they reserved on unveil night and that's why they all got their Cybertrucks before you did because there's totally a line, right? But just seeing Tesla put that kind of attention to detail into the repairability, lots of the Cybertruck owner's manual has kind of revealed those kinds of design attributes as well. I think it proves that they plan to flood the market with these things. I know the price is really high right now because the demand is really high, but over time, I do think as demand tapers off for the $100,000 Cybertruck, they can quickly unlock a ton more demand by releasing the $80,000 Cybertruck, which qualifies for the tax credit, and that gets it down closer to $72,000, and then when they run out of demand for that, then they can start introducing the rear-wheel drive Cybertruck, and probably around that time, they'll have newer 4680 cells with better energy density, better charging curve characteristics, and better range, of course, and then we'll probably see another big wave of Cybertruck demand. But the impression I got after checking one out in person and watching so many videos on it is that Tesla is clearly designing this truck a lot more like a Model Y than they are a Model X, which means that I think more so than any other electric truck out there, Tesla's got a ton of margin to work with. So right now it's crazy expensive because all the celebrities want one and so many people kind of look at it more like a piece of art than they do a pickup truck, which is kind of genius. I love that about Tesla. Like they can just put this little triangle on any piece of merch or on the steering wheel and you know, yes, that's the Cybertruck logo without any letters, without any words. It's so iconic. It's so recognizable and Tesla just knew how to capitalize on that and it resulted in a huge influx of demand from the start and I don't think it's really going to diminish all that much. We're just going to see the price lower to reflect that as production ramps up and these kind of repairability aspects I think are really really smart and point to the scalability of the Cybertruck which is of course always on the forefront of Tesla's mind. How do we build you know millions of these things and how do we build them profitably which is very important something that Rivian and Ford and probably GM haven't even figured out how to do and that just kind of gets me very very excited for the future of electric vehicles because it means that we might live in a world where the Cybertruck becomes as commonplace as the Model Y which is kind of nuts and kind of hilarious if you think it's ugly and disgusting but also kind of amazing if you wanted to picture yourself living in the future let's let the future look like the future right can you imagine driving around town and seeing cyber trucks as often as f-150s like that's just gonna be nuts that's gonna be funny and awesome and weird and amazing all at the same time and these kinds of design traits are the way they make sure that the cyber truck is easy to work on easy to repair and again you're gonna have to go through some pretty hardcore collisions before you're gonna need any kind of meaningful service anyway because even though it's not an exoskeleton this truck is still very tough and strong and there's no other vehicle that I think is deserving of that tough rigid exterior than a pickup truck which people intend on using for work off-roading or just going to the grocery store and having a bunch of people look at you because you want attention I guess celebrities seem to have caught on but what do you guys think of these repairability design choices Tesla has made feel free to let me know down in the comments below and thank you everybody supporting this channel directly seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again have an excellent rest of your day